So in a list, sometimes you can have duplicates, but how can we remove them easily? There are different methods to do that, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to do that. So, first of all, I'm going to create a list with few duplicates. By the way, watch until the end because I'm going to explain you with some real numbers how much faster is one method compared to the other and it's going to blow your mind. Okay, so let's get started. My list that I'm going to copy and paste one that I've written like that. As you can see here, you've got three, another three, another two, another three, 121, 121, okay? So you've got duplicates. So the first method is basically a simple for loop. So you get a new list, okay? Then you do something like for item in my list. If item not in new list, I'm going to append it to the new list, okay? And then print new list. So, as you can see here, we've looped through the list one by one. And if the item is not already in the list, in the new list, which is empty at, at the beginning, then it means that you've never come across that before. And then you add to new list. If that's the second, third occurrence, then you are not adding it. Okay. So for example, one, yeah, add it. Two, yeah, add it. Three, yeah, four. Then three again. So, Three, you have already a three in here. So this three is in the list. Okay, is in the list, so you don't append it. Okay. So let's try to run it real quick. Remove duplicates. As you can see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten, one hundred, one hundred and twenty-one. So you don't have duplicates. Okay. This is the first and simplest way, the simplest method. The second method is actually, let's comment this out just, okay. As I was saying, the second method, we're going to use the dictionary from keys method and the list constructor, okay. So first of all, we need to create a dictionary using dict dot from keys and then my list. I'm going to explain you what this does. So from keys creates a dictionary with the list's items as keys and none as value. Okay. As we didn't provide a value to use. Okay. So the key thing here, no pun intended, a dictionary cannot have duplicate keys, which means that all duplicates are actually ignored by Python automatically. Okay. So if you print the dictionary, we can see what I mean. One, now, two, now, three, four, five, six, seven. As you can see, you don't have duplicate keys. Okay, because from keys basically checks if the key is already there, it doesn't add it again, okay? Then to make the list, the new list without uh, the duplicates, we are going to use the list constructor and create the list from that dictionary. The list constructor takes as argument an iterable. And in this case, we're going to pass the dictionary. And when we look through a dictionary, which is basically what the list constructor does, we get only the keys, which is what we want. So if we, for example, do something like for key in my dictionary, and I print key, and we do something like that, then we print like that, we comment this out. So now let's start to run this. As you can see, one, two, three, four, five, six, etc. So when you loop through a dictionary, you get basically the keys. Okay. So this is quite easy right now because to get the new list, to make the new list, you can do something list my dictionary. Okay. And if you print the new list, let's do something like this. Okay. So if you print the new list, you get the new list without any duplicate, which is incredibly useful. Of course, you can do that on the same line. So you could do something like new list 
is equal to list dictor from keys and then here my list okay which basically does the same of course if we run this you can print again but I mean it definitely does the same as you can see that's the same just on one line so which is pretty pretty cool so basically this is how you could remove duplicates from a list but as I told you I'm going to give you some numbers which are the results of some testing that I've done using the module time it really really useful tool if you want to test the speed of your code and at the same time see which method is better go and check out the video I've made on that you can find the link in the cards up above and in the description box down below because that's really really interesting and I really love to test my code okay so now on the screen you should see the results of the first test in this test I've used the same list as we did above so one two three etc which is a short list the times you see are the times taken to find the duplicates on that short list repeated one million times so the test basically does the same thing that that we've done but one million times which is the same as looking for duplicates in one million lists of that size and then I've repeated this test four times per method to sort of get the average as you can see the there is a difference but it's definitely not huge okay but what about if we look for duplicates in a longer list now you can see on the screen the results and the difference is huge here I've looked for duplicates in one list with 100,000 elements and the times you see are the times taken to do that only once of course here I repeated the test only twice per method because it took quite a long time okay so the test before was like a little list looking for duplicates in a little list 1 million times in this case looking for duplicates in a bigger list uh, 100,000 elements list just one time okay and as you can see this is huge the difference is huge between using the dictionary method let's call it like that and the other method that really really different so you may wonder why this happens and of course I'm going to explain you that basically with the for loop we're actually using a lot of Python code and you know that Python is quite slow okay since as you know it's an interpreted language on the other hand the dictionaries method from keys and the list constructor execute C code as they are built in at the core of Python and C being a compiled language is so much faster so if you need to remove duplicates from a big list you should use the second method because it's going to be so much faster and as I said before if you have a bunch of small lists there is not a big difference if you use one or the other but I will stick to the dictionary anyway because you know now that you know that why not okay so this is basically I wanted to to show you the difference in speed because I think this is quite quite interesting and really really useful to know all right so I'm going to close everything down as usual and that's it all right guys I hope you liked the video and also the explanation I gave you at the end I think that when you have different ways of doing the same thing you should test them and see which one is better and also of course understand why let me know in the comment section down below if you found this helpful and interesting if so give it a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one bye